Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be a recap of week, what, 35? Yeah, I'll be 36 tomorrow. So this week has been, it's, it's been a week. Um, if you are interested in this recap, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into it. So the beginning of this week, if you've been watching my vlog or the vlog that I posted, um, I had morning sickness, so I thought um, I vomited. And later on that day, I started feeling just really sick. Um, but not to the point that I felt like I was like I had the flu or COVID or anything like that. I just felt like I had a small cold or like allergies or something like that was going on because I had a headache. I started to get a little congested. Um, I was really tired, but I had been tired too. So I just thought that I needed to relax. Um, when I ate dinner, I noticed that I just wasn't feeling well even after eating. Um, kind of felt a little nauseous and then I noticed that my nose was more nasally and the biggest sign was that my baby wasn't moving like she normally does she moves a lot like and I don't have to really drink anything cold to get her to move or do anything special she just normally moves especially at night so I called the doctor. Well, no, not before I called the doctor. I did. Uh, I, I tested my temperature, and I was like at one hundred four because I started feeling cold too. And I'm like, why am I so cold? So I know my iron's low. Didn't know if that had something to do with it, but I'm like, let me just be safe. So I did the um, tested my temperature. The doctor was like, if you know you can't get your temperature down. In an hour, come in. She did say I can take two 500, I believe, milligrams of Tylenol, so like two extra strength Tylenol. And that's what I did. I lay down for an hour. Prior to that, my kids um, had slight colds, but I thought that it was allergies too. Nothing like how my first experience with having COVID was. Um, my oldest son, he had a headache and was slept when he got home from school. And this was like maybe like a week ago or like five days ago. And then my middle son, he had a cough that went away with allergy medicine. And did he have a cough? No, he had a runny nose and my baby had a cough. So I'm thinking that it was just like a school sickness or like allergies. No one had a fever um, and they didn't really last too long, like the symptoms. So I thought that I had initially, if I got sick, it would be from like their cold. Um, never in a million years did I think that it was COVID. So I went into, after about an hour of me laying down and, um, nothing changing, like my baby movement still not picking up, um, and what else? Uh, my temperature, my fever, not going down. I went into emergency. Went into emergency. I was dehydrated. So they needed to put me, hook me up to fluids. And they also needed to get blood to verify my blood type because my iron's so low just in case they needed to do a blood transfusion if they decided to do a C-section that night. So um, my arms are pretty bruised up, as you can see pretty bruised up and this arm actually some skin came off my arms hurt so bad um, they were trying to find veins and couldn't and it got to a point where I was like I don't want to experiment trying to find veins anymore I just want a doctor to do it the doctor came in with the ultrasound machine to find my veins because I have small veins anyways and he did, and he was able to get the blood they needed and also start an IV. 
Um, but let me backtrack. So once I got there, um, they hooked me and the baby up to a monitor. My lower back started hurting really bad. And she explained to me that I was having contractions. So they gave me a muscle relaxer to try to stop the contractions. And that worked. Um, they also uh, hooked me up to an IV. And that worked as well with the like the to to to, to um, hydrate me and they gave me some medicine um I believe like another Tylenol or something took my temperature I, I still had a fever so um the doctor came in and actually wanted to check to see if I was in labor so they checked my cervix wasn't in labor um they decided to admit me and keep me overnight and before they would know like what room to put me in. They had to do a COVID test. So they did the COVID test, got the re results back that I was COVID positive. I told my husband that once he goes, in, if he goes into at the isolation room with me, he won't be able to come back out because once you're in the isolation rooms, you can't go in and out. So we still needed someone to be able to care for the boys. So he didn't go into isolation with me. I was in there myself. And I'm going to show you all raw footage of the little bit that I've logged in isolation. Please don't judge me. Don't judge my hair. I don't care if you do or not, because I was feeling so bad. I did not care. I just wanted to document the moment um, since I've been documenting my pregnancy journey and this is a part of it. So I'll go ahead and roll that footage. Today's video is a vlog video. So as you can tell, I'm in the hospital. Do not expect to be here. Um, I tested positive for COVID and I started getting like really cold last night. So I came into the ER and they kept me overnight. Um, I am in an, isol an isolation room and I'm waiting today to see what the doctor says as far as if I can go or if I need to stay to be monitored. Um, so I decided to go ahead and vlog this experience since I've been vlogging my pregnancy journey. Um, I don't really feel too well. My nose is um, stopped up and um, yeah, I just was not expecting all of this. So um, my kids, they come home with a cold from school about three days ago at this point. And I'm gonna have to get them tested as well because I thought that I just got like a little cold from them. But if I have COVID and we have like similar symptoms, the more than likely they may have it too. Um, none of them had fevers or anything, but I mean, I guess, you know, COVID has different symptoms on everyone. So right now, I'm waiting for the nurse to come in and unhook the monitor, unhook the baby monitor so that I can use the restroom, which is right over there. And I'm gonna show you like my arms um, as well. So yesterday they tried to start an IV and um, it was unsuccessful twice. So that's why I'm bruised, I tried to get blood but I was a little dehydrated, so I didn't get enough blood. And then over here is where I have my other IV. <sighs> um, I haven't been able to drink since I've been here, since about, I got here like around 11, 30. Haven't been able to eat, but I really don't have a huge appetite. So don't really know what's gonna happen yet. I am, um, just a little nervous because I wasn't expecting to do all of this. I was just expecting to go and get my iron infusions today, which they may do here. But nevertheless, um, this is where I'm at. So stay tuned if you are interested and I will pick up the camera in a little bit. All right, so I was waiting on the nurse to help me out with the baby monitors, but I really have to use the restroom. And I've been waiting for like maybe 15 minutes at this point. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and unhook it myself and then get back, get hooked back up. Um, taking my covers off. 
Um, if you can barely hear me, it's because I'm in the isolation room and they have like ventilation to, uh, I guess, keep this room a little um, less germy. I'll show you what the, isolate, what the ventilation looks like. So let me try to go ahead and get up. Alright, so I'm now unhooked and I'm in the restroom. It looks like this. It has like a little shower in here. And then the toilet and the sink. I am in pain a little bit. Um, I was contracting last night. They gave me a muscle relaxer to stop that. And um, like I mentioned a little bit ago, I'm just waiting on the doctor to come in to let me know what the game plan is today. Let me know if the iron infusions um, are still going to happen, if they're going to do them here, if they want me to go to the appointment. I'm just kind of waiting. So I'm about to use the restroom and I'll pick you up back up in a moment. So I stayed there overnight. Um, after they... Uh, put the another IV in and got the blood they needed. Um, it was time for my iron infusions. I didn't get released in time enough to make it to my appointment for the iron infusion. So they did it right in the hospital. It didn't last three hours. Like I was advised from a friend because um, she said she was a, advised hers would take three hours. It didn't take 30 minutes like my one of the nurses told me. It took about an hour and a half. And I think it all depends on the drip, like how much iron you're getting, um, the speed of the, the drip and things like that. So it took an hour and a half. Really couldn't tell if I was feeling better from the iron infusions or not because I have COVID, which was making me tired anyways. So um, the nurse did explain that if I had my baby that night, that the baby would still be in the room with me. I would just, you know, wear a mask if I'm within six feet from her wash my hands and um, just take, you know, those kind of precautions. And so <clears throat> I was still like, this is not ideal. I'm already not feeling well. Now on top of that, I have COVID. But what can I do at this point besides just, you know, do what I need to do to make sure that me, my baby and everyone around us stays safe. So um, when I got back, my husband, before I got back, he saw the house, cleaned up everything. Everyone's like in their isolation sections. And um, the doctor told me that I have my, uh, well, I reminded the doctor that I had my appointment, another appointment on Thursday. But because I was diagnosed with COVID, I won't be able to go into the appointment, appointment until Monday. Um, they're saying that it typically takes about five days for you no longer to be contagious. So I have about one more day left and then I'm no longer contagious. Um, I can say like right now, as far as my symptoms with COVID, I do feel like nauseous, um, very nasally, like congested. My throat really doesn't hurt. Um, I do have a headache on and off and I'm tired. That's about all the symptoms there. My pregnancy symptoms um, for this week, I don't even know like how to distinguish between my pregnancy symptoms versus the COVID because I don't know which is which. Um, if you watch my vlog and you saw that I did vomit, I don't know for sure if that was morning sickness or if that was related to COVID. 
I've been really tired. I don't know if that's been related to pregnancy or just COVID or both. You know what I mean? Um, I have, I've had a headache, but I don't know if that's related to pregnancy or COVID or both. So it's like I've been experiencing symptoms, but I don't know which one to contribute to what. Uh, my back has been hurting, but when I went into emergency, the nurse explained that I was having contractions and that's why my back was hurting so bad, my lower back. So I don't know, um, but I do know this week has been a lot for me and my family with COVID. My sons really didn't have, like I said, too many symptoms at all. My husband, the only thing he said he experienced is a headache on and off, but he took some Tylenol and he felt better and that was it. Um, everybody's still in isolation. Um, kids didn't go back to school. You know, everyone just re relaxed for a little bit um, until we're no longer in our isolation period and can get back out. Uh, as far as next week, I do have my last, uh, my last, what is it called? OB appointment. That's on Monday. And then I go and get my second iron transfusion, which is on Wednesday. And then I go ahead and go in for my C-section later on that week. So everyone pray for me. Pray for my baby, please. Pray for a healthy delivery healthy postpartum, just healthy everything. Um, I really would appreciate you all's prayers. And I am okay. Um, I do feel a lot better than I felt yesterday. Yesterday, all I did was sleep. I'd wake up for like 20 minutes here and there, and then I would just buy myself back to sleep. But I believe that I needed that because today I feel a lot better. Um, I don't feel like I'm completely over it, as you can probably hear in my voice, but I feel a lot better. I have my hospital bag packed, staying the night in the hospital on the labor and delivery floor. Kind of gave me an idea of some things that I wish I would have had um, when I went. So those are the things that I packed. Um, I packed like uh, a dress that's kind of loose fitting, two dresses that's kind of loose fitting, that are kind of loose fitting, excuse me, and some maternity um, shorts, maternity shirt. I pack some looser underwear, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, um, my house shoes. I'm gonna also bring a scarf and I'm trying to think of anything else that I've put in there. But I think that's what I have so far. And then in my baby's bag, I have like her clothes and a few diapers, which I'm probably not gonna need to use because I think they have them at the hospital, but just in case. Um, first aid kit, um, desitin, pacifiers, wipes, um, coming home outfit, which was my, reminds me I need to put one more thing in there, one more outfit some onesies um her hat should be coming tomorrow so i'll put a couple hats in there too but we're all packed up we're ready so um hopefully my week 36 recap will be uh you know recapped and then shortly followed by um my birthing experience and you all being able to see my baby so um we're getting really close so i do want to thank you all for watching i do want to thank everyone that has been on the journey with me and um yeah i will talk to you all in the next video bye <laughs>